All right, let's see if we can do this again. These are the uh, plate frame heat exchangers uh, for domestic hot water. There's two of them. The water in is piped in parallel on this header above. Two pumps. I don't know what the strategy is for the pumps. I think they run all the time. We go through the heat exchanger. We exit the heat exchanger on the uh, right, on the back. They're in parallel, both heat exchangers. They come across here into this common T, okay? Um, and then of course it boops up and out and back to the building. So the domestic hot water return is the pipe uh, on the left. Supply is on the right. The issue is that heat exchanger or that relief valve right there, I guess opens up. They want us to replace it with this guy. The only attempt we can make is by closing that ball valve over there that feeds that whole zone. If we shut that and shut its neighbor over to the left there, you can see it right there in the photo, where my finger's at. That's returned from the building. Right next to it, right there is supply to the building. We close those, we should, uh, and if they hold, we should take all the pressure off here and, and be able to swap that valve. The question is, what's the unintended consequences of shutting down the building? You know, this building's 40 stories tall. If they hold, we could literally change that valve in eight minutes if we're ready to go. We can pop open a drain here. There's another drain there. I think it would go very, very, very quickly. If it holds, I bet you we could pull that valve, swap it, and get those main butterflies to the building back on in under 15 minutes. Yeah, let me know what you think.